Hello everyone. As I'm sure you all know, Amazon stopped supporting their Amazon Cloud Cams. So if you have a camera, Amazon Cloud Camera, it will effectively stop operating or functioning uh, from starting December 3rd, 2022. So if you do have an Amazon Cloud Cam, it's time for you to upgrade and switch it to Blink. Now Blink is a company that was bought by Amazon so basically they are doing their cloud camera service through Blink however their old original Amazon cameras will not work so you must purchase a Blink camera setup this setup with five cameras is like $190 give or take and I'm going to show you how to program it how to un you know do it with everything and sync it with Alexa and you name it okay so let's get started let's open this puppy up and see what we have the box comes just as you see and there are two tabs that we need to break here plastic tabs for which you could use a good old-fashioned blade then this will slide out and look what we have we have five cameras one two three four five and we have one sync module by the way the sync module is the device that allows you to store your video footage locally without the internet so if you have one of these guys, even if the internet is out and someone breaks into your house, your vo uh, footage will be stored here. To the sync module, you could put a USB device like a flash drive and have the data stored on that. Okay. And these are the cameras. Each camera has its own little, uh, you know, mounting mechanism. Uh, Two screws go to the wall and this hooks right here but you have to remove this little rubber thing to hook it and it goes like that now before you do that you have to put the batteries and this is your USB port or power port this shows the direction to open and close these two arrows and this is your speaker because the mic is in the front there yeah that's the mic right there I'm not gonna put the batteries yet first we have to do the sync module okay the sync module is the number one thing that needs to be programmed to your phone and to your Wi-Fi so they even gave you enough uh, screws for each camera I'm gonna set this aside I'll put this aside and do the sync module first. Program the sync module. With the sync module, first we have to plug it in. You power it from the USB plug that comes with it. So I'll plug this in. Here I have a power out outlet. There's a tape, a clear tape that you need to remove. Okay. And now we plug it in. So now the sync module is plugged in. Now we have to get our phone. So on your phone, you have to download the Blink app. That's B L I N K, and click on that app. So let me use this Face ID. And now we have to add a device. Right where it says add a device, you go to 
allow, OK. And now, in the back of the device, there is a little barcode, and that's what you need to scan. So now it's scanning that. So name your system. Let's call it home. So it says to plug it in uh, where the blue light is blinking and the green is steady. And that's exactly how it is. Discover device. Join. The phone is in the home network. This one is not in the home network yet, just so you know. So the allow. So this will give it the network connection. Okay, so now I have to choose 2.4 gigahertz because the range is higher. The 5 gigahertz range is uh, much uh, less. Okay, so now I'm going to enter my password. Okay, and I entered my password. Now the green is flashing. Now the both lights are off. Both are on, solid. Connecting to Blink servers. Okay, it is very uh, it is very important that uh, the phone and this is on, uh, they're both on the same router and the same Wi-Fi because if you have a two different separate routers and uh, uh, two different uh, Wi-Fi's, then you will have a problem. For example, when I chose a 2.4 gigahertz for this to hook to, that 2.4 gigahertz should also be connected to my phone. Okay. So the sync module seems to be online, as you can see. You could delete the sync module or you could, you know, change the Wi-Fi network and what have you. So now we click on done. Now we have to click add to add cameras. Before we click on add cameras, we have to grab the camera, open it and put the uh, battery in it. So to open it, you open this first, use a coin. I have a coin ready to open the screw leave it once it's open leave it in this shape and use your nail or some other object to pry it out let's see what can we use here we are going to use a small little screwdriver still not open yet let me use it from here there so you could you, you you cannot pull it from here because this will break but you could put a screw and a screwdriver and pull it up like this like that all right only lithium batteries you cannot use any other batteries okay so let's put the lithium batteries the batteries come with it so the first set of batteries come with it, obviously, you have to buy any additional battery. Okay, once you put the batteries, before you close it, you have to scan the QR code in order to add this camera. So I click on add, go to wireless camera, click on the wireless camera, take your camera and scan that. Okay, the scan was successful uh, you have to choose where you want uh, uh, this to be uh, synced with so you want to choose the home one now positioning the camera where is this camera going to be facing so these are like you know different uh, places that you can put them on so you know in my case, I'll be mounting it on in the wall, so I don't care about that. So right now, you have to wait for this to upgrade the firmware. As you can see right here, it's updating the firmware. 
So when it's updating the firmware, I'm going to pause the video, let this go through, and then continue. It's about a minute or so, and the firmware is still being updated. And there you go. Finally, the camera ad added successfully, and the firmware has been updated. So now, let's see. Let me put the camera in a position so it is looking at me. And... done okay arm it okay waiting for the video to stream and there it is um, I'm not too impressed with the quality Okay. 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 Okay, I guess it takes a little bit. And th there's a major delay. I, I didn't know there's so much delay. See, right now I'm moving my hand. And look how, how many seconds later the hand is being moved there. So there is a major delay. Continue. Okay. Two, three second delay. But yeah, it is what it is. So this is what you need to do in order to switch your uh, Amazon Cloud Camps with one of these guys. And I'll make a separate video on showing you how to like uh, see the recorded videos. Like you have to go to the cloud and uh, will be saved in the cloud and things like that. So. Now everything is being saved in the cloud because I don't have a drive here. You have to have a flash drive in order to save it here. So, yeah. You have to follow these steps uh, for every camera. Then you have five cameras to do and add each camera one by one. Then you'll be good to go. All right. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I will be having more videos on each individual camera and how to do cloud storage, playback, live view and that whatnot.